Conflict with bosses can often be a fundamental difference in personality types. These differences are usually reflected in communication styles, which don't match. If we know these things about others, well, we can more easily deal with the differences in our boss. Find out more about that in today's show. Welcome back to year four of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, which we release every Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Training, Tokyo, Japan, and best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. My new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be released soon. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in our high performance center here in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? We are looking at giving you a big edge in business. Let's all be at the forefront, at the cutting edge of how to flourish here in this market. This is episode number 198, 198. Boss induced aggravation antidotes. So do I give a show? So let's get going. Are you the engagement survey assassin carving up your boss? Or are you the victim having to explain to senior management why your team scores are so dismal? Naturally, the very top bosses rarely ever get surveyed, so they can be totally bullshy about your low scores. Research informs us that Japan is a bastion of bad feelings and unhappiness, leading the world in low scores. Even taking out the Japan bias of conservative scoring, the results here are still pretty miserable. We also know from the research that the biggest factor in lack of team engagement with the ideals, direction, and aspirations of the organization is the lousy relationship staff have with their boss. Good communication skills are often in short supply with bosses and this leads to unhappiness. It is not that bosses can't talk. Well, in fact, often they talk and talk and talk and talk. It is the way they speak and the thinking behind the words that are inflaming their subordinates. Bosses can be limited by their own preferred scope and style. The latter may hit the target with those who are more like them, but leaves the rest of the troops underwhelmed, uninspired, and unhappy. Bosses are often oblivious to the idea of diversity. I don't mean diversity as mainly considered in Japan, which is usually about lack of inclusion of women in the workplace. Diversity here means variations amongst the teams in terms of communication preferences. There are lots of tools for determining this stuff, ranging from the exotic blood type Chinese zodiac, both very popular in Japan, by the way, Western astrology to the more scientific, DISC, Myers-Briggs, etc., if you don't happen to carry this stuff around in your head or your pocket, here are two decisions to determine the best communication style. Picture a horizontal line of assertion, low on the left and high on the right. Assertion here means to what extent you have a strong opinion on things. State that opinion, speak very forthrightly, confidently, and often loudly. At a vertical scale, where the top has high people orientation and the bottom high task, a people orientation signifies care and attention to people around you, how they feel, the classic people person. Task orientation is about outcomes, results, KPIs, getting the job done, 
regardless. We now have four hints to guide our communication. The top right quadrant combines both assertion and a people orientation. Often, salespeople, actors, trainers uh, fall into this group. They like people and they are looking to influence those around them. Don't focus the conversation on gritty detail. Move to discussions about big picture issues with this group. Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Their diagonal opposite loves detail, proof, data, and statistics to three decimal places. Talk in terms of micro detail with this crowd, often accountants, technical people, scientists, lawyers, etc. The outcomes type in the lower quadrant on the right is assertive and task driven, often company founders and scary CEOs with a strong time is money mantra. Don't beat around the bush or waste their time. Be direct, confident, succinct. They won't mind. Their opposite quadrant are the non-assertive, people-oriented group. These are sensitive types. They're modest, they're shy, they're usually the glue behind the scenes, mopping up the damage caused by their diagonal opposite. Taking time, speaking softly, talking about how people will feel about things attracts this group. We can quickly tell who is which style by carefully listening to what they say and how they say it. Mirror their style and our communication improves. We like people who are like us, so communicate in their preferred style, eliminating barriers. The bosses may not be difficult after all, just different. Bosses and subordinates can very quickly become multi-style lingual and much more effective in their communication. Life gets better when we can get on the other person's wavelength and surf that wave together. Action steps. One, develop four different speaking styles. Driver, high assertion, high task. Amiable, low assertion, high people. Expressive, high assertion, high people. Analytical, low assertion, high task. Number two, mirror the person you are speaking with to break down the barriers. Number three, don't be offended by people having a different style to you. Number four, don't try to correct people who have a different style to you. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday 
for the Business Tatsuji no Oshie Show, Wednesday is for the Sales Japan Series, Thursday is for the Leadership Japan Series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, every Monday we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday we release the Business Pro Television Show. And every Friday the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 199, we are talking about getting close with your audience in Japan. So, Yoroshiku, onigaitashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. We've only got one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.